Okay. Um, I'm sorry. It's, I, I have to work on these videos. But uh, actually, I said that I'm not working on, well, excuse me. I'm taking my time here. I made a video last month about America's Next Top Model All-Stars. And I'm continuing the video. So I'm going to be talking about that now. Um, the contestants and how, what I think about them now. Wow, it's dark in here. But uh, you know, what I think about the contestants now. And what, who should win, if I like it still. But anyway, let me get on to that now. I'm going to go down the list. Well, by eliminations. I'm going to start with Brittany from Cycle 4. I think really she should have not been on the show. I think she has already had her company and her modeling and her all that. So I think she really don't think that I don't think she should have. Um, I don't think that she should have been on it at all. Um, the second girl that got eliminated from the show was Sheena. Sheena, she's a successful music singer and uh, model. You know, I was very shocked about her elimination. Well, actually, I take that back. I, I, I really like her as a model, really. She will represent Asian models because there's not a lot of known Asian models. Well, actually, Kamarlene Simmons is an Asian model. But I think she would be taking the photo. And we need to see more African-American, white, Mexican, and Hispanic, I mean, Hispanic and Asian models out there, the younger version of them now. So I think she'd be a representative for modeling. She'd be a good representative. <laughs> um, Isis, the first ever transgender model. I was definitely shocked about her, about her elimination. Because I don't think that she should have went home that early. To be quite honest with you, I think that she deserved to um, I think she should deserve to stay on the show and continue in the competition. I didn't really get the elimination. It was really, um, it wasn't fair. I think that her and Laura, I were rooting, I was rooting for to win the show. Really. Honestly. That's my opinion. So I was not happy about that elimination. Um, the girls are still old, and Camille recently, she just got eliminated from the show. She's the oldest out of all of them. I don't think she should have made it on the show either. She, and, and also Brie as well. She has a lot of work, and she's done a lot of campaigns and advertisements. You know, I think she really, Brie, I really believe that Brie is going to have a successful career. And modeling, acting, she's definitely going to go far. So I don't think that she should be on the show anymore. Bianca, she's the youngest. So I think she has little experience. She wants it bad. She really do wants it bad. So I think that she'll go far in her modeling and, to, and, to, and get into other things too. Um... Laura said, also, Laura is another contender. I really am fighting for her to win. She's sweet. She's kind. She's everything. So I think that she will have a, a, a good chance to win the show. Anjali, 716, that's what she says all the time. And she's representing it. And I think that's what America's Next Top Model is all about, to have that personality, that je ne sais quoi, that oomph. That, that it factor. I think that's what she has, and I think it will take her very far in life and uh, whatever she wants to do with it. So she's also someone that I definitely would like to see win the show as well. Um, Allison. Uh, Allison, she's, she's, she's good. She's much improved since her cycle. Um, I think she'd be good at arting drawing and pictures and stuff or, you know, whatever her talent is she likes to do, I think she'd be good at it. And also model, too. My, uh, freelance modeling as well. Uh, who else? No. K. 
Kayla? Oh, the lesbian, Kayla. I think she's a great person that is representing the lesbian and gay community. Um, she she is um, very open about being gay, and she is a contender. She's strong. She takes strong pictures. She can sell herself well. You know, she has a lot. Of, sometimes she has a lot of insecurities about herself that you know she wants people to know that she is strong. She may not be all the way open, like all, like really wants people to know. Well, let me take that back. She did mention that she was she was raped at an early age, and um, she had a lot of insecurities about dating men and kind of getting you know emotional about it. And I think that's a lot of women that are sometimes are afraid or are not afraid to tell their most deep secrets on camera on TV. And I think that she is strong about who she is, and she knows that she is a, she would be a strong a strong model and a woman for women who are battling sexual abuse or any kind of horrific um, trauma that they've dealt with in their early years of life early years in life so i think that she would be a representative for women about awareness of how they would be able to speak up and being a strong woman in the united states um, who else? Uh, there was other girls on there. Alexandra, she's a tough model. She's very tough, but she also has a sweet side. And once you get to know her, she's very kind and very nice, and, you know, she has a competitive mode. So I think that she will go very far with her modeling and anything else that she tries to do with her future. Uh, Brie, I've always, I've, all, I've also talked about her. Great model. She's very talented. Who else did I talk about? Um, Lisa. What can I say about Lisa? She's the goofball. She's the, she's the talented one. And she, well, not talent. Well, she is talented. She's, she's just, she's just a mess. So, I think definitely she had a good career with her music. She's very... She's a multitasker. She can do everything. So I can see no doubt her, whether she wins the show or not, she'll definitely go far with her music career and her modeling. Mm, what else? Who else have I not talked about? Shannon. Shannon was a controversial model for me because she didn't want to pose nude. And that's, uh, that's strongly believe. I don't judge anybody that don't want to do anything. If you don't want to pose new, you don't want to, you know, anything that you don't feel that you're not comfortable with and you don't like, I support either way, whether you want to do it or not. And I think she would be a great spokesmodel and a spokesperson for women who are comfortable who they are and what they want to do and what standards they can take and how they would be able to portray themselves in the, in the public eye. And I think that she has done a good job with that, and I'm very happy that she stands strong and believes in what she wants, what she does, and that she's not afraid to tell people how she is. And she's a full-out Christian. So I think that is a very good thing that she is proud of who she is, and she's not afraid to show it. So I think that's, that's, that says a lot about her as who she is. Who else have I not talked about? I might have to make another video because I'm really forget. I watch it every week. Since it, the first cycle, well, probably fourth cycle, but it's 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 up in the air. Like I said before, I think Bree really doesn't need to be on the show anymore. She has a lot of experience. I'm she's gonna be a good su successful model and actress. I know she is. So I really am rooting for. I'm rooting. I'm really rooting for Laura to win. Cause she'll she'll be a make she'll make a great model. She will. Or, I'd say, Kay oh, that's the only vote I have for her. And there, I also have other things. Who, who other people I think would win? Kayla. And I have to think about what I'm saying before I say it. And also try to... Excuse me. Um, 
choose wisely so I won't have to make people coming after me and telling me, why, why didn't you say that? Uh, goodness. Uh, Angelia, also, I think she great. She'll be a great model. But I gotta keep watching every week and see what happens and hopefully whoever I said that I want to win, they do win. Or I'll just talk about it anyway. But yeah, so I have to keep watching.